Hey guys, uh, Sawyer Hanna here, the owner of Country Liberty. I just wanted to make a super quick, um, you know, kind of natural raw video so that I could share the Country Liberty story direct from me to you. Long story short, I grew up in rural New Brunswick, um, surrounded by friends and family, uh, tons of land. I mean, we grew up, we'd, we'd be playing capture the flag, we'd be at bonfires, we'd be on the beach, we'd be, you know, doing tons of different things outdoors, exploring the woods. Uh, at 16, I moved to Halifax in pursuit of a hockey career. I moved there to play for the Halifax Mooseheads. I eventually get drafted um, to the NHL by the Vancouver Canucks. I was so thrilled to be playing Major Junior. I didn't dream I'd ever be drafted to the NHL. I mean, I would consider myself a very average athlete. Eventually, Vancouver at 19, um, they sent me to Europe, Salzburg, Austria, um, to develop some of my skills so that they could, you know, reevaluate at the end of the hockey season. I went to Europe to play professionally, and um, when I got there, I really recognized, you know, the cultural divide. I mean, it was one thing, rural New Brunswick to like Halifax, uh, but we're pretty similar. But it was another thing, rural New Brunswick or Halifax, rural New Brunswick to Salzburg, Austria, Europe. I mean, it was, it was. It was mind blowing. My whole world was opened up. It was completely different. I didn't know anybody over there. I didn't know half the languages people were speaking. Uh, style, the food, everything was different over there. So I noticed the, um, you know, the cultural divide between rural New Brunswick and Salzburg, Austria, Europe. But in Europe, I was like one of a kind, and and it was very exciting, and and I was very very proud of the way that I grew up. I just thought, you know, I want to represent this somehow, um, and I kind of put that on the back burner. I was very much focused on hockey. I eventually left Europe, played in uh, Quebec, and then in the States. I played professionally there until I left to go back to university. So at that time, I decided, you know, the easiest way to represent something that you're proud of is to literally just wear it. Like at that time, I contacted my buddy, I shared the idea. We, we shared the same childhood. Um, so we kind of, we had the same values and things like that. I brought kind of the concept to a designer, an artist, um, who actually put it, um, put it together for us. Um, and then I had this concept of a name, country free, you know, um, country liberty. I wanted to like emphasize the freedom of, of life in the country. Put in 200 bucks each, we ordered, um, we paid for our design and ordered 12 t-shirts. And the 12 t-shirts uh, were moved to friends and family, basically people that like had to support us. Thought, you know, I feel this way, other people must feel this way, you know, about this place, about this culture, about the childhood, about this way of life. So as we got rolling, I started to truly realize, you know, there's people out there that are, that are identifying with this brand. But a year and a half ago, um, I went all in. I, I started taking risks. I started investing time and energy, um, which was crucial, evenings, weekends, whatever. I completely sacrificed my hockey development. I mean, I closed the window to ever play professionally again. Um, and I did all of these things in like the last year or two um, to really just triple down on the brand because I was really proud of it. Other people were identifying with it. That was really, really cool. And I started like cold calling, started visiting stores and just pitching store owners on the spot. Um, I started reaching out on socials. I started tripling down on social media, getting really serious about that. Eventually, um, that hard work kind of paid off. Moosehead Breweries contacted me uh, to do a promotion with them. We did this sweet promotion where if you bought a box of Moose Light, you got a free Country Liberty. It was across Atlantic Canada. It was, the Cavendish Beach Music Festival then contacted me. They, which was an amazing concert I've been um, I've been going to for years anyway. So now to be like a part of it, a partner of it, a sponsor of it, it was really really exciting. Um, there we sponsored a thousand volunteers, hardworking volunteers. We got to reward them with a free garment. That was really cool. Starting to pick up some steam. Starting to get distribution all across the province with all these great independent retailers. Um, and then just post Christmas this season, actually. Uh, I was introduced to the studio team. A lot of people don't know this, and I know I certainly didn't know this until I got into the industry, but studio is actually a local retail chain. It, it doesn't really seem like they're this local uh, business because they're, they're, you know, they're a big business and they're a credible business, but they are local. They actually started in Halifax, their first store, and they still have their headquarters in Halifax. Tons of East Coast people working for them. Great company, um, and, and we're thrilled to be partnered with them. You know, so that was a natural fit. We rolled out our product line together in all 29 stores. So three in Alberta um, and the rest out here in the East Coast, Atlantic Canada, Newfoundland. We just got into Newfoundland, which is wicked. Can't wait to get over there. That is where the brand is today. And it's amazing. And, and I would love to take credit for it. I can't. 
I have to give all the credit to you guys. I mean, you guys, the brand, the community, you guys are fueling this thing forward. I mean, I can work as hard as I want. I can create as many items as I want, or I can post as much as I want, but it means nothing unless you guys identify with it um, and you guys support it, and that's exactly what you guys are doing. So I owe you, our entire team, everybody involved, our, our partners, our retail partners, our promotional partners, we all owe you a gigantic thanks. So thank you very, very, very much. Um, for that support. Also, if you want, if you want to follow along a little closer, uh, you can do so uh, through the Country Liberty Instagram page, Country Liberty Facebook page. It's going to keep you up to date with new products, new locations, new uh, promotional partners, new campaigns, tons of things like that. Um, and if you want to take a step further, you can follow along on my personal journey, which is very much married, of course, to the Country Liberty journey. Um, I'm traveling around all of these areas trying to get to know um, the people supporting the brand, the people, um, you know, the retailers that are selling the brand, um, and get to know the areas that we're selling within. You know, take pictures of, of, of various spots around Atlantic Canada uh, with my drone and my camera and things like that. So I'm really trying to get the full experience. I'm trying to milk this thing because I really enjoy what I'm doing, and I have you guys to thank for that. So I really am trying to milk it in the sense of traveling, meeting people, and doing all the things that I love to do. Um, so that being said, I just want to thank you all very, very much for your support. Um, like I said, without you guys, none of this happens. So thank you, and I look forward to meeting you soon.